I don't know if you can hear the babies next door, if you can hear the fucking stressed out mom singing shark do 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 next door. If you can hear all of that, I apologize. Children. All the plans to snitch on the studio because listen one thing about me i ain't loyal to nobody but Jaden. period so i'm absolutely gonna snitch on them through an anonymous email okay and i'm gonna let them know that they're too fucking loud and that they're messing up the the jade fox studio they're messing up the major looks videos i'm trying to make you looks i'm trying to give you all the the, the go-to's and all i hear is shark doo -doo -doo -doo. on the other side of this fucking wall. Children. I might be in hell. I might be in hell. Maybe I deserve this. No one deserves this. What up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Fox and this is the Made You Looks channel. And today I'm going to be helping y'all with the big old titties. The big old bitty babies. I'm gonna be helping y'all. I'm gonna be helping y'all uh, figure out what to wear to minimize the, um, the voluptuousness of the breasts that are sitting on your body. Listen, I understand uh, not all of us want to be well endowed in the chest area. For a lot of people who love it, there's a whole lot of people who don't, okay? There are people who want to get surgery. I'm one of those people. I would love to, I was fully ready to get a breast reduction last year and it ended up not happening because of COVID. Literally like all of the hospital rooms, all of the like, ER rooms and stuff were booked because of COVID patients. So it ended up being canceled. And then when I tried to start it again, I literally got rejected because apparently just having big boobs is not evidence enough for a breast reduction to be covered by insurance. Who knows, I might have to go out of pocket for this because listen, I'm describing a struggle that y'all already know about, okay? So I'm going to be getting into all the ways that I myself, I am a triple D, I am a 34 triple D. Okay, but oftentimes people don't realize that and that is because I have figured out the cheat codes on how to dress, to hide it, and to get off the looks that I want to get off. So let's not waste any more time, ladies and gents and those in between. Let's get started. So one of the most important things that you can do, and this is something that just comes along when you develop your style a little bit more, that is to dress for your proportions. Okay, oftentimes, if you have a style that uh, makes having big boobs challenging, right? Like say you have a more masculine style, therefore maybe you lean more into men's clothes. Obviously in men's clothes, they're not making that much room for the man boobies. So oftentimes what I find super helpful is dressing to your proportions. And basically what that means is, because I've said this before on this channel, what that means is identifying your specific body type and dressing to highlight your body type, if that makes sense. So for those of us who are super curvy on the top and bottom, we've always heard that a wrap dress, a wrap shirt, the light, the sun is doing a thing, so I apologize for the lighting changing. But if you have a big top, if you have a big bottom, you're curvy, right? You've got a lot of curves. We all know that wrap dresses and wrap tops look great because what they do is they cinch you in the middle and they emphasize the shape, the curves that are happening on the top and on the bottom. What that's doing is creating a nice contrast between the middle of your body and then uh, the, the top and bottom part of your body. So if you cinch in the middle, it's gonna make the top and the bottom look a little more enhanced. And if you're already curvy, you see where I'm going with this. I have a, I'm actually gonna turn the light on. Maybe this is a great time to say, you guys, I pay for this studio using Patreon money. So if you would love to support me on Patreon and get me out of the ghetto, $5 a month, help your girl Jade Fox get out of the ghetto um, in this studio so I can get away from all of the noise. Okay, and give you all the quality content vibes that we used to get in. Uh, just five dollars a month all right that helps me a lot uh with equipment it helps me a lot with studio and just making sure that i can provide the very best quality content because listen the, the girl i listen i'm gonna big myself up here the girls aren't giving you production value like they are on the major looks channel not to say that i don't acknowledge the privilege and the access that is provided by all of y'all but i'm just trying to give it to you i'm trying to give it to you good so if you want to help out patreon link is down below 
Okay, I think the baby's soothed. Let's go ahead and finish. I have a short torso. So oftentimes I'm buying shirts and I'm, and I'm cropping them, I'm cutting them because uh, having shirts or just tops that are too long for my body doesn't look great. It's helpful when my shirts stop uh, right before my hips like most shirts should. So that's why I end up cropping them. I want, basically I'm trying to explain that you wanna be able to kind of see with the kind of body type that you have through your clothing. If you have a very slender, if you're very lean in the body, I can imagine that things that are slim cut would look more flattering on you because it, it over, oversized clothing, super loose clothing is gonna look like you're kind of swimming in it and it's gonna change the overall shape of your body. And so what I'm saying is find out what your proportions are, look in a mirror, figure it out. Um, oftentimes standing next to somebody that has a different body type than you actually helps. I didn't realize that I had a short torso until I was standing next to my girlfriend who's a, who's a few inches shorter than me and her torso is still longer than mine. And so that just goes to show proportions matter and you should dress to them. This next one is not gonna be for everybody, but if you are like me and at the end of the day, you just want to have a smaller chest so that you can just get on with the day and you're not trying to do the most, you're not trying to wear binders and do all that, go ahead and wear compression tops. Compression tops over sports bras is my philosophy. Sports bras are great if you are not trying to look cute at all. But let's be honest here, sports bras, when you have big boobs, give your boobs a weird shape. They just do. Oftentimes what it does is it like gathers your boobs in the middle and then they drop a little bit because of the middle of the elastic band on the sports bra. Like that's where most of the weight is happening because it's just kind of pushing everything towards the center. And so that's why I say sports bras are fine if you're doing actual sports, but if you're trying to just wear a nice top, sometimes I think that the sports bras can disrupt that. Just swallow them, guys. Just swallow them. Jesus Christ. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? They look like tadpoles when they're born. Just ball headed and chap lips all the time. Squishy little beans. It's hard to hold them. They're like wet soap. They're like wet burritos. Just swallow them, y'all, just swallow them. So I'm going to leave in the description the compression tops that I wear. And the basic difference between a compression top and a sports bra is a compression top has more, in my opinion, it has more hold in it. Oftentimes with sports bras, you get a little bit of hold in that elastic waistband, you get a little bit of hold in the straps, but overall, it's not the greatest at like holding and securing you in. The sports bras, if you are a sports bra fan and you really not trying to go into compression tops, you're not trying to get into binders, I'm not a binder girl myself. I would suggest sports bras from Calvin Klein or Nike. They're more expensive. It's gonna run you like 50 to $70, maybe even a little bit more than that. But those are the sports bras that I've used that I feel like have a, a nice hold and uh, on them and coverage as well. They're almost more like tight crop tops. You can find ones with sleeves. You can find ones without sleeves. I wear ones without sleeves. But like I said, I will put them in the description below. They give you just a more flat um, kind of surface area, whereas sports bras, I feel, don't necessarily minimize the shape of your boobs. They just change the shape of your boobs. Instead of it being mass here and here, it's just mass here, so. Okay, so the next tip is very importante, okay? Those of you, listen up, layer with intention. Oftentimes we think that if we just throw a jacket on, if we just throw this on and then layer and then layer and then layer and then layer, ooh, we good, we can't see nothing. The girls are never gonna know. But the thing is, you need to be intentional with the way that you layer to go unclockable, okay? I'm unclockable. So this is, this is, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Some of y'all didn't know I was triple D until just this moment, until when I told you, okay? So I'm giving you the unclockable secrets, okay? So as you can see, I'm wearing just a plain white button down shirt, buttoned all the way to the top. And so when I'm saying layer with intention, this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to put this jacket on. So as you can see, we've got two kind of necklines going on. And so when I'm saying, or when I'm advising y'all to layer, layer different types of collars and different types of necklines on top of each other. So if you're doing just a plain crew neck t-shirt and then you're doing a crew neck sweatshirt on top of that and then you're doing like, 
I don't know, a zip up hoodie and you're zipping it all the way up to the top. It doesn't really add much interest to the chest part of your outfit. And so when you're layering, you're just kind of adding bulk when you could be adding interest. And so when you're layering your pieces, layer like a crew neck t-shirt and then on top of that have a button down that maybe have the button down open and then have like a vest on top of that. Layering with intention, thinking about the collars, thinking about the necklines and how they're going to look stacked on top of each other. If you can't really see your layers that you're layering with, there's a good chance that you could, that you could edit it a little bit more to add interest and to get rid of bulk. And so layer guys, it'll be your best friend. The next tip is to go for closures that are not your basic closure. So a button down, um, a crew neck t-shirt, uh, those are like your more base level, basic kind of types of clothing or types of tops, right? What I find is that a wrap closure, like in a blazer or something that's double breasted, where it just adds something different or interesting going on kind of on the torso of, or the top part, torso portion of your outfit tends to look more flattering because it's once again, just adding interest in another area. You don't always have to like layer just to cover. Sometimes you can layer to conceal in a way. Like you may find that, you know, um, well, my boobs look bigger in a cardigan, right? Cause that's something that I struggle with. My boobs look huge in cardigans because oftentimes cardigans, they're a little slimmer in the torso. And therefore when you put them on, even if it has a button closure, even if it has a zip closure, it'll just look very busty kind of in this area. So that's why I like to go for wrap tops because what they do is they do cover and it does also give me a neckline. It gives me a nice kind of like V-shaped neckline where you can see my chest. And because it has that wrap feature in the front, um, it almost like it allows your eye to not focus just in one spot, similar to how a double-breasted blazer would. Double-breasted blazer is basically um, a more roomier, this is not the formal definition of a double-breasted blazer, but the biggest difference, the reason why I will go for a double-breasted blazer or a single-breasted blazer or even like a collarless blazer is because they tend to have a little bit more room in the torso and they, even though they're not wrap style, they do have a wrap element to it. And so what it'll do is you have like your two buttons here, you can kind of pull it over to one side and then have those buttons there rather than having a traditional kind of closure where everything is happening right in the middle. We all know that depending on the size of that button up, depending on the style of that button up, you can get a lot of that kind of like pinching going on around the buttons. Um, same thing with cardigans, you'll have that pinching going around in the buttons. And so that's why I'm suggesting try out different pieces that have different styles of closures, specifically ones that don't happen right in the middle, ones that kind of happen off to the side a little bit because it just gives you something different and it allows you to have your eye go somewhere else and not in that one area that you really don't want it to go. The last tip before I tell you what you need to avoid, okay, is to pay attention to the way that fabrics work with your body. I pretty much stay away from anything that's thin and anything that has a lot of movement. So you will never catch me in silk. You will probably never catch me in anything like that's really light linen, simply because when you put those items on, they're going to cling to your body and they're going to fall. I'm getting to the point where I think I wanna go over there. I'll be right back. Whew. All right, standing up for ourselves today. But pay attention to the way that fabrics work with your body. It's different from person to person. I gave you what doesn't work for me, but maybe it works for you. Uh, pay attention. When you're buying clothes online, look at the content details, look at the care instructions because it will tell you everything that you need to know. If it's wool, you know, there's a chance that it might be itchy. Uh, if it's polyester, there's a chance that it might not feel that great. But if it's polyester, there's a chance that um, you can manipulate that fabric a little bit more than you would silk, for example. So pay attention to your fabrics and think about how they're actually going to lay on your body. Anything that's thin with a lot of movement is not what you want. It's not what you want, okay? I'm telling you, if you don't want to look like you have big boobs, that's not what you want. Do the research, go in your closet, try on different stuff and see what works and what doesn't. These next two things are things that you need to avoid from here on out. Number one, long necklaces. 
I feel like these are kind of out of style, but depending, maybe you've got like a hippier style, maybe you've got like long, uh, what is it? Like a rosary or something like that. Long necklaces, what they're gonna do if you think of your boobs is like a, like a cascading waterfall, right? <laughs> you've got like this cascading waterfall on your chest. If you were to have a boat, but I don't know where this metaphor is going, but let's just go on this journey together. Say you had a boat and that boat is that necklace. As soon as that necklace hits the raging waters that are your tits, right? If it gets to the bump where your boobs are, if it would fly off, then your necklace is too long. But if it stops right here, the boat can't fly off. This is making sense, I think. Basically long necklaces emphasize anything that it's sitting on top of. So if you have large breasts and then you wear a long necklace to the point where it's kind of hanging off, you are pretty much just showing people where your breasts actually sit. And the whole point of this video, all these tips that we're trying to do is we're trying to distract, I'm not wearing any rings. We're trying to distract people from the fact that we do have big boobs by layering a certain way, by wearing our clothes a certain way. And so that's why I suggest do not wear long necklaces. I'm also going to suggest, which is kind of like a no brainer, but like don't wear anything that's super fitted. Don't wear anything that's like slim fit or that has a very like uh, a dramatic cinch or darts in the back. I've made so many videos, well not so many, I've made a few videos specifically about button downs and how to buy button downs, what to look for when it comes to button downs, when you do have bigger boobs. There's a whole video, I will link it in the description. I will also link it in the uh, card up here. Check that one out because that is specific to button downs, but there are just all these different elements within women's wear that are supposed to enhance the size of your boobs because most women might want that. However, if that's not you, then you're gonna want to look for all of those things. You're gonna wanna look for pieces that don't have any of those elements at all okay which means that you're not going for slim fit you're not going for things that are super tailored you're not going for things that are like silky kind of girlier fits we're not going for those so avoid those if you can i will link some places that i enjoy buying my clothes from that i feel aren't super girly uh in the description below and i'm saying girly not because of boobs are only reserved for people that are women or that are girls. I'm basically just saying that things that are frilly, flirty, and girly tend to emphasize the breast area. And if we want to avoid that, we want to avoid those clothes. All right, y'all, that is it for me today. I hope that y'all were, I hope that y'all are all right. So uh, I hope that y'all are all right. I lost it, I think. I think I'm a little unhinged at this point. Um, getting ready to go snitch. I'm gonna send a, a very, very uh, long-winded email to management. I'm gonna let y'all know how that goes. If you wanna support me on Patreon, help me get out, get, help me get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link in the description, but otherwise I will see y'all very soon in another one. I hope that this video helps you. And do not forget to check out the other video that I made about butt notes specifically in the card, also in the description. And I'll see y'all in another one. And do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, and swallow them babies.